Do these coin companies just think veterans and the elderly and people in general are just flat out stupid? We're going to talk about this because, you know, you almost have to laugh at these ads, but they're not funny. But I'm going to make fun of them, so stay tuned. My name is Daniel, and you are watching Coin Help You, and let's get started. But first, if you want to buy coins that are accurately described and are what I say they are, come over to PortsmouthCoinShop.com. It's no nonsense. We don't try to hype up our coins. We don't tell you things about the future that they're going to be worth. They are what they are. Coin collecting is supposed to be fun, not stressful. Coin collecting is supposed to be fun, not full of fraud. And that's what we're about here at PortsmouthCoinShop.com. And that's why I do these videos. I know a lot of you are probably like, oh, here we go again. Another video on scams and frauds and ads and people getting ripped off. People, it's still happening. I had an elderly person bring these to me, give these to me. And this is not a joke. They receive these in the mail still to this day. And they met me over five, six years ago and were getting ripped off by these companies. Now they know how to buy smart. They buy from me or they buy from companies that I recommend or from local auctions and things where they can buy stuff, you know, for a, a more of a fair market price, but they still receive all these uh, leaflets and flyers and catalogs and things like that. They share them with me. They know that I try to educate and they appreciate the fact that I saved them thousands of dollars. I'm not patting myself on the back, but the bottom line is these videos are very important. So please, regular viewers, just share them with somebody. If you're not interested in them, I do appreciate the views and I understand that these can be kind of, you know, a little boring. So I'm going to make this fun. We're going to laugh at these just a little bit. We're going to make fun of them, but we have to put this in perspective. None of this is really funny. So let's get started. So we have this one here and it's talking about a special invitation and it's the nationwide coin and bullion reserve. I mean, let's name ourselves something that looks like we're some special golden bullion reserve and we're going to sell you special coins for special prices. Now, I don't have a problem with the prices. You can sell something for whatever you want. You can talk about caveat emptor and all that stuff, whatever, you know, a fool's born every minute. But what I don't like is whenever you start talking this way and you start talking about the 2001, if you had a 25,000 gold portfolio in 2001 at market spot of 291, it would be worth over 110,000 today. Experts are now predicting that gold will be worth 5,000 by 2023. Your 25,000 special arrangement package could be worth over 100,000 in the near future. That's the problem I have. What experts are predicting 5,000 an ounce that people are taking serious? And I mean by 2023 here. Seriously. Now, it could blow up in my face and 2023 rolls around and we have this huge issue and things go crazy and all of a sudden it's 5,000 ounce and I'm completely wrong. But I don't think I am. That's what I don't like about these ads. You can sell this. That's 1635. That's fine. Whatever price. But you can get it cheaper usually. This probably not. But they're going to get you hooked up here. They're going to keep sending you coins and charging your credit card. That's another thing. Then they've got your address. Then they got your email. You know, it, this is what happens with these companies. I just don't like the hype. I don't like putting stuff like that in there. That's what I'm talking about. Then we have this credit voucher. So basically, I'm getting this credit voucher, which is nothing. I mean, it's talking $40.95. I'm going to get $40.95 off a silver certificate and a mercury dime so that I only have to pay $14.95. See? Like they're really giving me something. I mean, $14.95. Folks, I will sell you a Mercury Dime and a silver certificate for probably around five bucks, then $5 shipping. I mean, I can't help the shipping part, maybe $4 shipping, but if you bought more items, the shipping wouldn't go up. I mean, that's the whole thing. It's a flat rate that we charge. Basically, it's really just a nominal fee for us because we do have to have the packing supplies. It's really not for the shipping. Most of the time, people's shipping costs way more than what we charge them. But the bottom line is, is that $14.95, you walk in my shop, you could get this stuff for a lot cheaper. I probably got $3 on the dimes, $2 or $3 on these. So for 6 bucks, you walk in my shop, you can get this. Now, it's not that, you know, I'm trying to say that they're overcharging. I don't care. Like I said, they're making it look like they're giving you $40.95 off. It's just, people, I hope you got to think, 
that they're not giving you anything here. Nothing special, really. And then you got another one here, credit voucher, $30 on a Liberty Head nickel set. And again, they're going to have your email. They're going to have your uh, address. They're going to have your credit card on file. And they're going to start sending you coins. And they're going to charge you and charge you and charge you. It doesn't matter what mint they say they are. They're not the U.S. mint. That's very important. But every one of them is using mint or some type of reserve or, or something in their titles of their businesses on purpose because they want to sound like they are some professional mint, some special release of coins. Uh, here's a silver price is going back up to $50 to $100 per ounce. They asked the question. It's not that it's going to. We've had a video on this recently. We already know that the pandemic of COVID came along and it didn't put silver at $50 an ounce. You would have thought it would. It did put gold to record highs, but a lot of that's just paper trading. I went over that in another video as well. You know, you've got half of it's physical, half of it's paper trading, and it can be affected just by one day and a billion ounce trading when it comes to the silver. It's an easily manipulated market with a company or a bunch of conglomerates that have enough money. Then here we go. Major retailers charge $25 to $60 for lower quality Morgan. So they're selling Morgan dollars here. Okay. And you don't know what you're getting, but they're trying to say, you know, look, you're going to get this uh, coin for three Morgans for $154, but they make it look like if you don't get it now, you're going to lose out. You're not. Listen, you can call up any dealer. You can, there's dealers all over the United States. Find you a PCGS dealer, an NGC dealer, a round table dealer, Talk to them about prices, even if they charge you a little more than what you think. It's going to be less than them and, and definitely quality. And ask them if they do returns, that kind of thing. And then, I mean, they'll go as far as put this person here. I mean, you know, they pay people to do this. You don't put your name on something. It probably doesn't even know coins, doesn't even realize how our name's being used. Who knows? And when they start talking about national advertised pricing, you can you might as well just turn around and walk away. National collectors mint. Here's another thing. Talking about extraordinary opportunities, and they're going to release 2,988 Morgan silver dollars. I mean, it's just a way to get you to think you're getting a deal, something special is being released, and that if you don't get it now, you're going to miss out. These ads run for years. That would tell you one thing. This same ad I probably used in a video before. But the bottom line is there's nothing being released. There's nothing special here. They're Morgan dollars. You can buy them everywhere and anywhere almost. I mean, you go to a coin show and get better deals. You don't need this. And I know people are homebound. That's unfortunate. You know, then you have companies like this. And it's not about the price. Probably a pretty good price. I mean, anytime you can get you know, the Silver Eagles, I think, you know, graded Mint State 69, that's not horrible. 245 for a graded 69. Uh, 10 pounds, not bad at all. But the problem is, is they're going to get your <laughs> credit card number they're in your email and they're going to get your mailing address and you're going to get this stuff all the time if they don't just charge you. You need to ask them if you want to buy something like this, you think it's a good deal and call them up and say, look, I don't want, I just want this. I don't want calls. I don't want stuff on approval. I don't, you know, I don't want my credit card saved on file. I want to buy this. I'll send you a check or whatever and just do it that way. That's the way I would do it if I was going to do this one. So I hope you understand why I do this. I mean, it's just like, like your son, they send this stuff like it's something special and it's just for you and, and it's just catered towards you and you're, you're the special person and, and, and their, you know, customer and all this. And it's just a bunch of bull. That's all it is. Okay. You don't have to do this to sell the coins. Why they choose to do this. I have no idea. The demand for gold and silver and coins right now is so high. You don't have to do this. I mean, I can sell coins without doing this. I can do a video and just show. Like, it's, it, they get a YouTube channel, okay? Do a video on Gold Eagles. Okay, build your viewership up. Do a video on the history, of, like I said, the 10th ounces and how popular they are without going overboard about how gold's going to go to 5,000 an ounce. And then say, look, we've got 1,069 or 10,069, 10, 10 ounces we're selling. We're going to do a special price of 245. I don't know if it's free shipping or whatever. And limit five, please. And we are not going to uh, charge in the future or anything. We want you to subscribe to our channel. Uh, and, you know, that way we can get on our notification list and we'll have more videos out for you. I'll guarantee you they will sell the coins just as well as they do like this. Guarantee. 
There's no reason you don't have to. But anyways, what what what's it to me? You know, they're successful. I'm successful, but everybody does it their own way. So in the trash they go. Thanks for watching my latest video. Please like, share, and comment, and have a great day.